Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of multiplayer round 70. Now this round was a team round and 8 players signed up as a team leader and they could all draft members from a pool of players who signed up. So uh, first of all uh, I will quickly put up the team members and team names on the screen. Uh, in the rest of the video I will refer to the team names. So if you want to know who's in the teams you can see it now. Now uh, on top of that all player or all teams got assigned to random themes which they had to combine in their plot for example uh, North Korea and pirates and they also got a random coaster which they had to build on the plot and players would be rated on their coaster and on how nice the plots looked. Now on top of that players also got a secret assignment and the secret assignment uh, was uh, kept secret from the other teams and the players who did not uh, manage their secret assignment would lose half a point in a, in a small penalty. Now, uh, to start off this video, let's go over the secret assignments for the teams. Now, for the secret assignments, all teams had to do something which was based on stats. For example, create the fastest plot on the map. So, for team 1, uh, they had to create the uh, fastest or the ride with the fastest top speed on the map however I gave this same secret assignment to team 7 they also had to do the same thing now uh, the ride which was submitted to me by team 7 was Superman jump which has a max speed of 130 kilometers per hour however the ride which was submitted to me by team 1 was Positive and negative infinity drive. Now uh, I will quickly have to find the ride. Okay, here we have negative infinity drive and positive infinity drive, and their max speed is 6439 kilometers per hour, which is uh, quite a bit faster than the other ones. So, um, yeah, congratulations uh, on the team from Max Arceus with uh, getting their secret assignment fulfilled. And that also means that the superhero team um, gets a small half point penalty. All right, for team two, our team uh, Long Jong Ilfer, uh, they had to have the ride on their plot with the highest drop height. So they submitted this ride, Atomic Drop, which in the stats has a highest drop height of 56 meters. However, I gave another team the same uh, secret assignment, which was uh, this team over here was team 5 and they submit this ride called superhero landing and it actually has a highest drop height of 63 meters and with that uh, this team has actually fulfilled their secret assignment and team the team from 30 gets a small point penalty okay uh, team 3 otherwise known as Biertje um, their secret assignment was to create the ride on the map which had the highest number of drops so they created this ride here called Grave Terrain. And as you can see from the stats, it has 22 drops. The team next to them, the Pixel players, they unknowingly had the same secret assignment. And for their secret assignment, they submitted the ride Red Rising, which has 19 drops. So that means uh, Grave Terrain actually wins the secret assignment. So uh, Team Beertje has fulfilled the secret assignment. And the pixel players get a small point penalty. Okay, and finally, Team 4, the BL subs, they had to create a ride on the map which had the highest number of inversions. And for that, they submitted the Skyline from Hell, which has 16 inversions. Now, as sadly, uh, the other team that got the same secret assignment, uh, DDD's Royal Battalion, they dropped out of the round. They didn't manage to complete their plot in the month that was allotted. So uh, they did create a ride with 8 inversions, but that definitely isn't enough. So uh, congratulations BL Subops with fulfilling your secret assignment. Alright, I will now go through all the finished plots and I will show you how well they scored. I'll start with the one that got the lowest score and I'll finish by announcing who's the winner of this round. Now in 7th place we have the team Beertje. From team leader uh, Birian, and they had to create uh, 
multi-dimension coaster and their two themes were spooky and tentacles so they had to combine those themes now, quickly use the cutaway view so here you can see their plot they created this big pirate ship over here i think that looks pretty cool uh, looks like uh, how i always uh, like to make these uh, these pirate ships uh, i think it, uh, it looks uh, really cool now they didn't get the easiest coaster type to work with uh, in the multi-dimension coaster but I think they did a really nice uh, job on it. So over here, it just looks like it uh, travels through these uh, castle buildings. Uh, it looks like it's uh, on the, uh, it's on fire here. <laughs> and a bit uh, um, destroyed, maybe. I quite like the way this uh, looks. Uh, also, I really like this uh, tower here. And uh, yeah, over here, it actually transforms into this uh, sea creature here. So the multi-dimension coaster actually forms a part of the tentacles of the sea creature. And I quite like how it uh, looks like this creature here is uh, attacking this boat. That's uh, That looks really awesome. Now uh, it's on the it's on the lower part of the of the list here, since uh, compared to most of the other plots, it just probably didn't wow uh, as many uh, players. But still, uh, considering that they got one of the more difficult coaster types to work with. I think uh, this team did a great job here. All right, then in sixth place, we have the pixel players here in this corner of the map. Now, uh, this team, they uh, was led by levels and they had to combine the teams Mars and Vintage, which is an interesting combination. And they had to create a triple launch coaster. Which uh, I think is probably one of the nicer coaster choices uh, players could get. Now I'm, I, uh, I really like how they did the Martian theme with lots of this red sand combined with this uh, yeah, alien looking round. Uh, what I really like about this plot is how they did these uh, UFOs. <laughs> um, yeah, they just look uh, awesome. Lots of tracks here. And of course these uh, green beams under them where the, there's some floating stuff. So uh, here's these coaster vehicles that are floating, but also some of these uh, uh, hover cars. I think that uh, that works great here. And I really like how they made this uh, green effect under here. That's uh, probably one of the coolest parts about this plot. Now, I think the coaster itself also looks amazing. I love the support work, especially uh, over here. Coaster layout is just uh, really nice. And I also love the station for this, uh, for this coaster. That's, uh, that also looks uh, looks great. Now the vintage part is probably just in how um, these uh, UFOs are used. Um, yeah, but overall uh, I think it, it looks great. Uh, I think maybe some more stuff could maybe have been added to the plot. But yeah, on the other end maybe it uh, would have then looked uh, too busy. But yeah, overall uh, I think these players uh, did a fantastic job here. Okay, and then here we have the plot from Long Jong Ilfer and the Pirates. So let me enable the cutaway view. And this team had to combine the themes Pirates and North Korea, and they had to create a vertical drop roller coaster. Now, uh, you can definitely see the North Korean team over here with this uh, big blocky castle. Also with the image, of course, here uh, of, the, of the great leader, Long Jong Ilfer. Uh, lots of uh, uh, war machinery. You uh, can see a big cannon over here as well. Looks like they have their pirate fleet over here. <laughs> I think that looks uh, that looks great. But yeah, um, I I think they uh, they uh, nailed the North Korean look. With all this asphalt here, all these uh, buildings around it. Uh, lots of gray, and I think it uh, it looks great. And yeah, I think uh, these are two of the more funny themes to uh, combine with each other, with all these pirates uh, jumping around on these uh, ships here as well. And I really like how busy this uh, plot is, especially here on the water. There's lots of stuff uh, going on. Looks like there's also some uh, ghost boats uh, going around. Hey, also a big uh, hill over here, or big rock, also with some radar equipment. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a really uh, funny plot. Uh, one of my favorite uh, parts of the plot was actually uh, this part inside here, which is where the 
vertical drop coaster also has a drop inside this rocket uh, silo. And uh, I just love how they uh, created this part. This looks really nice. Yeah, uh, just a really uh, funny plot from uh, this team. Alright, the next plot is from another team with a really long team name. WH Arsenium Core Extraction Inc. Hey, they uh, created this plot here in the corner. Let me enable the cutaway view. Now, uh, normally I also show the path around it, but uh, yeah, they actually built... Uh, well, they actually built uh, under the level of the paths as well. So, uh, yeah, if I showed the path, uh, this part below here wouldn't be visible, as you can see. So I'm just going to show it without paths now. But yeah, they created this, uh, uh, this company which uh, mines asteroids for uh, stuff. Now, I'm there to combine futuristic uh, theme, disaster theme, and they had to create a single rail coaster on their plot. Now, as you can see here, uh, you can see a disaster happening. So apparently it looks like uh, something is uh, crashing into this uh, asteroid over here, which is uh, probably uh, not a good thing to happen if you're mining them. <laughs> Yeah, I think this plot uh, looks amazing. There are just all these cool details uh, on the on the rock. I actually also love how they did the rock itself. It just looks uh, fantastic. Yeah, these uh, these crystals are. <laughs> yeah, this is just done in such a such a nice way. Uh, they made uh, great use of all the recolorable pieces that uh, they are allowed to use. But yeah, wherever you look. Uh, on this uh, on this big rock, there's just uh, cool stuff uh, happening everywhere. Just uh, awesome uh, details, and uh, yeah, I, I know for sure these players just spent uh, an insane amount of time on uh, on their plot. It uh, it looks amazing. Now, um, something which I wish uh, they did was make their coaster a bit more prominent. Uh, there's a single rail coaster. You can see it traveling around on a few spots. But I think if it uh, uh, took a more central role on this plot, it uh, probably uh, the coaster itself would have probably gotten a better score. That's that's what I think at least. But yeah, this uh, definitely was one of my favorite plots aside from the coaster. There's just so many uh, cool little details. So I definitely recommend you to check out this plot for yourself. Uh, this map can be downloaded from my Discord server. You can find a link in the video description, and it's completely free. All right, the next plot is from the Armchair Heroes. Uh, you can see the plot over here. Let me enable the cutaway view. And the Armchair Heroes, which was led by Hobion, they had to combine the themes Steampunk, Superhero, and they had to build a flying coaster on their plot. Now you can see the flying coaster. I love flying coaster. I uh, love how uh, central it is. It uh, definitely travels all over the plot. And yeah, it's definitely a very prominent uh, coaster. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's definitely a, pl a plus. I also really like the layout for this uh, coaster. I think it uh, looks great. And I also love the support work that they did for this uh, for this coaster. Uh, yeah, it just looks incredible. All the different track, sty track types that they uh, combined to create this coaster. Now, there's also uh, lots of uh, different buildings here. Um, well, I'm not <laughs> too first in uh, uh, actual superhero movies or series, but the uh, Daily B Bugle, I believe that's from uh, Superman, if I'm not uh, mistaken. If I'm wrong, I'm probably now getting roasted in the comments. But yeah, um, I do recognize this. I believe this is building from the Avengers. But yeah, apparently there's uh, more... Uh, buildings that were actually inspired by uh, buildings from superhero uh, series or movies. Now, I, yeah, I already said, uh, I think this uh, this uh, plot looks amazing. Uh, maybe it would have been nice if there was a bit more uh, steampunk uh, going on. Although uh, they're probably not the easiest themes to, uh, to combine with each other. Now, there is a little bit of steampunk going on here. You can see a bit of mechanical stuff. Uh, but maybe it should have taken somewhat of a bigger role in the plot. But still, I do think the plot looks uh, incredible in all these buildings. Uh, and the coaster definitely look amazing. Okay, there's just two plots remaining. There's the plot from the Pesto Penguins and the plot from the Beelzebubs. 
I will first show both of them and after that I will reveal which one is the winner of this round. Okay, first off there's the plot from the Pesto Penguins. And the Pesto Penguins uh, could choose, uh, well, for the themes, uh, they had to theme their plot after any movie. So they could choose a movie to theme their plot after. Well, it looks like they chose Big Hero 6. And for the other team, they had to uh, make their plot in an Asian style. And the coaster type that they had to make was a B&M Twister Coaster or Flawless Coaster. Now, I I'm not familiar with the movie Big Hero 6. I did watch uh, a short clip on YouTube. So I definitely recognize this uh, face that you see here in the sky. Now, um, first off, uh, I think the plot just looks incredible um, so I believe their um, plot was themed after San Francisco so kind of like a mix between Tokyo and Fr San Francisco uh, you can definitely see that in this uh, in how uh, sloped this uh, plot is over here but the cityscape on it is uh, actually more like Tokyo than San Francisco so I think that's a really a uh, a really neat uh, combination it is a little bit on the glitchy side here, but uh, I can't forgive them, I think, because it looks so, so nice. And uh, this bridge is just wild. <laughs> I uh, really love how they created this bridge. It just looks so nice. Now here we can see uh, some kind of portal which rains down uh, stuff onto the into the city. Or maybe it actually uh, drags stuff into it. I'm not really sure. Now, lots of uh, beautiful buildings here, also on the side of this plot. And I like that you can also see uh, under here, or maybe it's into these buildings. But yeah, there's just uh, lots of uh, stuff going on here. I think it, uh, it looks amazing. They uh, really did a nice job uh, combining all kinds of uh, scenery to create uh, beautiful little scenes here. This is some kind of scenery that you almost never see used, but it actually works uh, great here if you use it in... Uh, in small quantities and just add so much life to the plot here so yeah this uh this just looks uh, wonderful but yeah and this uh, team uh, definitely uh, uh um, added lots of uh, beautiful uh, details all throughout their plot and they definitely uh, deserve their place here in the top two and of course also uh, lots of stuff uh, happening in the sky here which is also a fun little detail Right, and here's the plot from the Beelzebubs. And the Beelzebubs had to combine lava theme and hell theme. So they actually got randomly, uh, they randomly got these two themes assigned, which go really well together. So uh, lucky them. And um, they had to create a laydown coaster on their plot. Now, um, they did some incredible uh, stuff on their plot. Something which I really like is how they did these gates. So you can see these gates uh, lining up here for these gates. And at some point, in these doors will actually open up for uh, for these guests. And then they can walk inside. <laughs> so yeah, um, it looks like they uh, created uh, some kind of ride here, which is a miniature railway. And when you do that, a guest will actually wait if a vehicle is about to pass. So that's probably uh, what they... Uh, used here but yeah they just uh, did that in an incredible way and uh, yeah i just love uh, watching these uh, doors uh, open and close that's just uh, such a neat uh, trickery <laughs> yeah i just love uh, watching this now there's lots of other cool trickery uh, here in the middle you can see one of these invisible space rings right so uh, yeah that uh, definitely uh, um, works for the hell team i guess so you can see this uh, torture device for these uh, guests to make them nice and uh, crispy. Now here's another really cool uh, detail. You can see all this lava over here, all these smoke buffs uh, which uh, pop up. So I'm pretty sure below here there's our train going around. There's actually several trains. And yeah, that's that. That's another really cool uh, detail. If I turn sound on, it's probably pretty loud uh, here with lots of uh, steam uh, train whistles. Now, and here you can see the coaster passing by, and as it does so, you can see this uh, volcano erupt. Uh, kind of like how I did it in uh, Imagination Mega Park. And it's uh, quite nice the way this team uh, uh, managed to fit that uh, into this uh, plot here. 
Oh yeah, lots of nice uh, landscaping uh, as well with all these uh, black uh, volcano rocks here. <laughs> also lots of uh, guests or deep uh, scenes. <laughs> Some of these guests really have funny uh, animations. I believe this is the animation that a guest normally makes if they uh, they see a ride that's too intense uh, for them. Oh yeah, um, for, as for the structures, uh, maybe it would have been nice to have a big tower or something uh, in the middle. Because now mo a lot of the plot is, uh, is quite low. Uh, we do have some nice towers on the side though. Uh, you can see this uh, lay down goes to travel around this tower with a big spiral. I really like how they did this lift here. here. And also this uh, sort of uh, cobra roll that goes around it. Uh, I think that also looks really cool. And then finally, uh, here's uh, another little or smaller tower here in the corner with this uh, ride that they built for their secret assignment. But yeah, I think it's a great looking plot. Okay, now it's time to reveal which one of these last two plots is the winner of this round. Is it the San Francisco from the Pesto Penguins? Or is it this hellish castle from the Beelzebubs? And the winner of multiplayer round 70 is... Pesto Penguins! Now, there were a lot of really nice looking uh, plots in this round. I want to uh, thank all the players uh, who joined. Uh, in this round and who uh, finished their plots. Yeah, I always uh, like watching these uh, team rounds. Uh, the players really did their best here to uh, put something together which uh, looked amazing. Now, and uh, I think the Pesto Penguins are also definitely the deserved winners. Uh, they scored quite a bit higher than the rest. And yeah, the amount of detail, the lovely buildings, uh, Everything that they managed to cram into their plots just looks uh, stunning. So yeah, just a wonderful job done by the best of penguins. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, you can download this uh, map from my Discord server. Links in the video description. And if you want to join one of these contests, just become a member on my Discord server. And if you're a member for a while, you chat a lot, maybe you join some other contests, then you can become a trusted member. And then you can also join on the multiplayer server. All right, uh, if you liked this video, please uh, hit that like button. It would really help out my channel. I would love to hear in the comments which one of these plots is your favorite. And if you want to see more videos like these, you can always subscribe to my channel. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. <laughs>